Justin Bieber has always been open about his sudden belief in God and how it has helped him shape his life. One man that we can probably thank for cultivating this belief in Justin is Carl Lentz. You might have seen him with Justin on various occasions but it is hard to identify the six-foot-tall man as Justin's pastor. According to New York Post, Carl has been by Justin's side through his journey into changing his life. In an interview with The Post, Williamsburg-based photographer Joe Tomini, who was hired by Carl as his assistant, said that he was not surprised to see that the two have developed such a close relationship. When I and Carl met seven years ago, I was in a bad place and he forcibly became my friend. He has this way about him where he's like, let's hang out, and you're like, okay, and then he's at your house and you're hanging out, said Joe. However, their relationship tends to go both ways as Carl is thankful for having Justin by his side the same way Justin is. To begin with, Carl gives all the credit to Justin for helping him with his style. Oh my goodness, it would be him keeping me wildly relevant, Carl told the Post. Once in a while, Justin will leave something cool at my house and I'll steal it. He left his supreme hat, which he doesn't know he left, so I have that. The two met in 2008 at the singer's concert in New Jersey and it is right then that Carl understood it is not going to be easy to work with Justin. I remember being involved in this pre-service prayer backstage and just looking at him and going, this is going to be a challenge, Carl told the Post in 2014. And that day is like, I'm going to pray for this boy to make it. One could say that since that time, Carl has been a spiritual guide for Justin. Due to this, Carl is the one who is subjected to both criticism and praise when it comes to Justin's actions. Justin wrote a really beautiful piece of his heart on Instagram and it was too good. So people were like, no way. Let's look around his life and see who might influence him, Carl said. I'm not a tour manager. I'm not a guy who would tell him what to do with his career. I speak when he needs wisdom and asks me for it, he added when asked regarding Justin's decision to cut short his tour when he wasn't feeling mentally fine. He's 23. He's got this giant life ahead of him. At the end of the day, if you feel like that right now, to take a break, do it he said. We act like we get so sad when celebrities bottom out. But then when celebrities make good calls, we're critical of them. In May, when the singer was hanging out in Montclair with Carl, Justin was seen asking his fans to enjoy the time in hand and to hide behind the cameras of their cell phones. Put down your phones and be normal for a second. Goodness gracious, how are ya? Put down your phone and be a normal person for a second, he told the bystanders. Even though Carl did not oblige, Carl could not help but feel proud of his student. He's inspired me a lot, said the pastor. Just to see someone remain so teachable and so kind in the face of a lot of scrutinies, it's really challenging. If he can do that, we all should be able to do that. It could be said that Carl has shifted Justin's path towards optimism but could it be possible that he has been using the singer to drive people away from the thoughts that he holds about homosexuality and abortion. Hillsong NYC, the church where Carl is a pastor, has some very fixed ideas about homosexuality and it seems to be something that Carl himself believes in. Even though for a long period he kept quiet about his opinions on the subject, in November, he was forced to accept that he does believe abortion is sinful. Later, he was asked if he would marry a gay couple at Hillsong, Carl told the Post, if a gay couple which, they never have asked me to do their marriage, I would sit down with them and we would have really awesome discussions about what we all believe. He was then asked the same question again about whether or not he would, indeed, preside over a gay wedding, he continued to avoid the question. I'm not going to answer that. Your question is, would I do it? And my answer is, I've never been asked. He went on to say, we believe what the Bible says. Your beef is not with us. Your beef is with what the Bible says. In another interview with Carl Gave in 2015, he opened up a bit more about his thoughts by stating that, if he could just show a person how to walk with Jesus, 
really walk with him every day, it would be easy to resist the temptation of loving someone of your own gender. He admitted that he was fine having gay parishioners because according to him, homosexuality isn't a different kind of sin to him than, say, tithing at 9% instead of 10%, or gossiping or telling a lie. Despite his very debatable words and thoughts about homosexuality, Carl happens to be a celebrity favorite. He has managed to attract a bunch of celebrities like Haley Baldwin and Kendall Jenner, actresses Vanessa Hudgens and Haley Steinfeld, singer Nick Jonas and NBA stars Kevin Durant, and others. Could it be possible that these celebrities are his source for avoiding people from pinpointing his derogatory thoughts?